Hello and welcome to My Time at Portia, a game by a company called Team17 who have been doing computer games for a long time now. Um, one of my favourite publishers, I'll be honest. And they are tackling one of my favourite topics, which is a Studio Ghibli inspired post apocalyptic setting. So, I've seen a couple of videos of this game, but not played it myself. I thought I'd start off and give it a whirl. So let's start first of all with selecting a new character. Right, so here we are. We have choice of genders. I think I'll stick to being a guy. Though the Marco is probably not going to be right for me, oh, so I'll call myself J. Let's do a bit of a ra oh my word, random is very random. Well, what do you think? Kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to reset and st and do my uh, my own. I think. Let's start here. What? Ooh, we have eight choices. We're not having much in the way of hair these days. That's kind of closest to what I used to have when I was about that age. Let's um, make it a bit darker. There we go. Face type. Well, uh, let's have a look here. Probably better again. The eye, eye colours. We have two eye colours. Ah, right. Well, let's have a look around here. Probably around there, that sort of area. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, that's too having too much fun with that slider already. Let's change. Okay. Eye shape and size. Oh my word. Um, okay, well, that seems all alright. Let's have a look at to beard or not to beard. So we have moustache, debonair moustache, full grizzly. So let's go for the full grizzly. Oh look, it just matches the um, beard colour. Let's. Do we have a darker? Yep, we do. Beard colour two. Let's have give him a bit of a. Peppered beard. No, we can't give him a peppered beard. He's supposed to be quite young, isn't he, this character? So. Nah. Can't do it without the beard. Can't do it without the beard. Okay. So. Decoration. Probably not actually thinking about it. Luchador? Nah. A bit of a joker theme going on there. I'm not sure about <laughs> that. Okay, I think that is about right. We can. 
Yeah, let's go for beard length. Yeah. Let's go for hair length as well. Let's go... Wild Man of the Woods, eh? Sorted. Okay, let's confirm it. When is his birthday? Day, month, one, spring. That's summer. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Hmm. Okay. It'll technically it'd be spring 10 in that case, according to this. Hello, Caterpillar. Okay, so... And here we go. Let's see what's going off here. Ah, loading screens. Oh, now I'm obviously enjoying myself. Yeah, definitely. Uh, either that or I'm... I'm. Oh, we're coming up on Porsche. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you going to do there? Green diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while, always seeking that adventure. Good to be on. Here we go. Good brakes on that boat. I wish I had a boat that, that, that good brakes. Normally it's you turn the engine off and wait for everything to slow down. So here we are at Porsche. Is it Portia? Porsche? Not quite sure. He might know. Presley. Jay. How do you do? Good to see you again. I hope you had a pleasant journey from Bannock, right? That's quite far. It is, actually. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you your workshop, so if you would like to please follow me. Oh, if you would please follow me. It's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Okay, so dash uses AP. Yes, it does. I can see it there. Uh, jump is space. Auto run is middle mouse button. Oh. And uh, as with all auto runs... Hmm. This place sure seems some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homey. A word I've never used before and I promise you I'm probably not going to use again. Except in this game by the looks of it. Okay, so I've got a letter from my father. Uh, wait, Jay, when you read this letter I'll, always be, I'll already be on the other side of the world. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This is all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind, cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Pa. Brilliant. Even dated it, so it just left today, apparently. Here's the workshop handbook of your pars. Take your time and come to Portia Commerce School. Tomorrow it's located around the Peach Plaza. You can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it tomorrow. I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. At least I'll probably be able to remember people's names in this when I'm looking at them. Here I am. Oh, and I get the option to wake up. Should I? Yeah, why not? House is so warm, I need to fix it. I won't get a good night's sleep. Looks like you had a really good night's sleep already. So let's have a look. Fix this gap. 20 wood. Okay, I don't have 20 wood. Uh, what's this here? 
home panel. Oh. You can gain attribute bonus by furnishing your home. Stop harvesting. Stop gathering animal product. Okay, so this is automation. And there's nothing in there. Okay. Right. Okay. So, glowing objects are most likely to be collectible resources. Press to see help. Machine target is marked with a star on the world map. Of course, it's day two, isn't it, already? So. No more res... Check. From Porsche Times. Porsche Times is sponsored by the city government and local commerce guild to bra branch to bring you your la the latest news in our city for free. See, I can read after all. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. resources. Now I know that when you start doing things like this, if you have a look at the bottom of the screen, it says, it's HP and SP, and SP is your stamina and it will, if you watch me gather this, it will drop from 116 to 114. Yes! There we are. So I've got to meet Presley. I might as well gather this stuff on the way here. Now, like I say, I've had a look at this game. I've not actually played it yet. So I know the Porsche Commerce Guild is up here. So let's go inside. How am I settling in? Uh, well, good, good. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organisation that orchestrates trade across the entire three cities regions. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you the builder test. It's pretty easy. Make an axe and a pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from Total Tools in Circle of Sky. After you have the raw materials, you need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in the yard, so check it and it still works. Okay. So. Commerce. Ah, uh, we can't take any commissions yet, I'm thinking. Okay. Let's say hello to people. Hi there, I know you are, I'm Anton. I'll probably be seeing a lot of each other, tee hee. Exhausting, I'll fall asleep at any time. The guidebook. Oh, right. Brilliant. I'll have a look at that later, I think. Maybe. One day. You can craft items on your work table in your yard. What is that? Church store. Right. Church of Light. And we have to bring them relics. Let's say hello to people. Nor is a sister of the Church of the Light. Missionary at Church of Light. It's nice to meet you. Do you know the town of Wind? There's a lot more energy stones there, but it's monopolised by the government. Okay. This is Lee. He is a court leader if ever I've seen one. And you are... Oh, it must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. Have you ever heard the story about the dancing robot? This happened seven years in, ago in Ithia. A robot was found in ruins and brought into town. The robot had only one leg, so it was balancing with its four arms. That way it's called the dancing robot. Anyway, it later shot rays out of its eyes and hurt a lot of people. It's a sad story. Oh dear. Very sad story. 
At least it was a dancing robot and not the story of the killer robot, you know? Could have been a lot worse. Let's gather a few more resources. Okay. So. Now, I know that they are building things here. Here's the... Here, oh, big glowing arrow. Yeah, that'll be it then. Okay, so. Tools. Simple axe. What do we have a simple axe? We need... 10 wood, 8 stone, and then we need a pickaxe as well. And a pickaxe is. Oh, sorry. That's 5 wood, 8 stone. 5 wood, 8 stone. Hmm. 13 wood, 13 stone. Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. 13 wood and 13 stone. And while there's one over here, might as well grab that. I'm guessing wood might be around near the trees. Maybe. Maybe not. Well. What on earth? Insufficient items. Okay, I have no idea what that is. So, again. Running around. We actually only need one more wood. What are these? Snake berry. What's a snake berry do? Is there a... There is! There is the eye key. What does snake berry do? We saw 10 HP. Okay. That's a level 8 Mr. Ladybug. I am a bit worried about you. And oh, kick. What's that? Nothing. Oh, that was a rub a rubber fruit. Okay. Let's kick the tree a bit more. Okay. What does rubber fruit do for me? There we go. Small fruit grown from some trees can be used for rubber processing. Okay, right. Let's have a wander around here then. Oh, these are we gathering. Seems like I've gathered a caterpillar. Very good. And herbs. We still have 10 HP. Oh, fantastic. Again. Right, let's have a look around here. While I go in that tower. Okay. Oh, sticks. And that will be enough for... A start, I believe. Yeah. Fantastic. So. So. Simplex. Craft. One. Yay. And a pickaxe. Awesome. Well, crafting seems fairly straightforward with this. Now. Plant fiber and wood. Awesome. Oh, I've leveled up. I have a skill point as well. Fantastic. Might even have to have a look at that in a second. Right, so mission. 
build one of those, build one of those, go and see Presley. Go build a license. Okay. Skill tree tutorial. Click to add skills. Each skill has a different upper limit, and most five can be added to one level. Oh, right, right, I see. Five skill points to each level to unlock the next one. The final score, excellent effect. Okay. So, we are fighting, mm, gathering, and social. Let's go for gathering first. Stamina cross decreases 25% when using axe. Ooh, that's nice. Let's go for one. There. Awesome. So, let's go and, first of all, say to Presley, hey, we've got this sorted. Oh, who are you? Gail. That's... Oh, mayor of Porsche. Yeah, welcome town, new builder. I'm Gail, mayor of a wonderful city. If you have any issues concerning, of concerns, have you any issues of concerns, just drop on my and buy. Okay. Hope Porsche can be more prosperous under my guidance and become the model city in the Alliance of Free Cities. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. A bit worried. It looks like I'm about to shave myself with that uh, with that axe. Still. Here he is. Oh, I wonder if three dots means it's a uh, quest. Excellent quality, nicely done, you can keep them, I just want to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher, you'll need to use the assembly station in the your yard to complete this task. If, you remind me, if I remember correctly, you'll park a very detailed account of things you made. You may want to flip through his workshop handbook, so you can find a diagram of the stone furnace. Once you've got a diagram, use it on the assembly station in your yard to start the construction. Okay. Gift exchange. Okay. Let's have a look. You okay there, Mr. Mayor? It's a very snazzy jacket you have there. It's very snazzy. Okay, so I can see the yellow owl pointing into the right direction. Oh, wow. I did not see that there before. That's cool. Did that say Dubai? No. Yes. Maybe. Who knows? No more resources. Okay. Assembly station. Oh! Right. Welcome to my workshop handbook's first page. I'm going to try and write down all the knowledge I'm going to gain as I tackle this workshop business. Since I'm probably the only one who's going to read this, hello to me, handsome guy, ha ha. So here we go. Lesson one is most important. I just add the... I just had the press help me construct my assembly station. Now I'm going to write down the steps to using it properly. Go to your assembly station podium, open the handbook and select a diagram. Once the framework of the item appears, I can start placing the different parts. To install the part, I need to have the part in my hands. I'll walk up to the framework and the highlighted location and press the left mouse button to place it. I can cancel the assembly process at any, po any, any time at the podium. All the used items will go directly into my inventory or sit in the on the ground nearby if I, my inventory is full. When I finish the assembly, I can put the item into my inventory. Then it's payday. Yay. Oh, oh here we go. This is stone furnace. So, stones can be found anywhere. Uh, so, ten stones is one stone stool. Okay. And ten wood. Okay. Left mouse button. Oh, that's cool. Um, so use the left mouse button. Assembly station console can be used to view material requirements or cancel the... 
Parts can be installed or recovered when standing near and pressing right mouse button. Okay. All parts in place, press E key or A or X to pick up the item. A or X I'm assuming is um so we need wood. So I can place ten wood and I've got twenty six. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Ten stone. Oh, what time is it? It's seventeen thirty seven. I've got 48, um, so... Oh, what's that? Marble, as well. Copper ore. Oh, that's nice. We have 16 stone. We might be able to get this done. Let's have a look here. Oh! One one. Oh, stone saw. I don't have the item select to mark it. But I had it. Wait, let's. Furniture. Stone stall. Brilliant. Yeah, I just want one. Oh, there's a horse there. Hello. Hello, horse. Why are you on your own, horse? Horse, why are you on your own? Okay. Ah, now. Inventory. Let's move some of this about, shall we? There we go. Hurrah! Boom. Um, do I have to go over and see him now? No time limit on this, is there? It's getting quite late, so... Oh, right, need a better axe. Ah, right. Tree sap as well. Awesome. So we get more things on here than just wood. 18 stamina left. We'll have to check how much stamina I'm using up every time I do something like this. I know that's costing me two. Oh, the hours are literally a minute long. Oh, hello, Jack. Come on. Student Alice's little brother. Yeah, you right. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. I hope you have a good time in town. I do well in school, not as good as Polly, but pretty close. Right, it's always good to aim for something, isn't it? Okay. Let's enter here. So, can I fix... Three wood. Yeah. How many more? I've got 46 wood, I can even fill... I can do this one. 20? Yes. Wow, it's looking better already. Ten wood. Mm, getting a bit expensive now. So, I've got 16 wood left. Fix this gap. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. Hold for settings. Okay, yeah. Well... Go to sleep. Yes, why not? And here we go. And let's wake up. So. Oh, it's raining. But I have posts, so that kind of makes up for things, I suppose. 
From Town Hall. Hello new builder, we'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorised ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin, below the Church of Light, and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all the other ruins are currently off limit. Thank you, Porsche Town Hall. Okay, thank you, Town Hall. Okay, oh, hello, pussy cat. Can I talk to you? Pinky? He's a, uh, she's a stray, I would think. Chat? Meow. Okay, Mew. Bye. I have nothing to give you. I look like I don't need to eat either. Higgins. Who's Higgins? You must be the competition, whatever the more the merrier. Bring it on. What? Okay. Well, I see you've done the right thing. At least you're out of the rain. What is it? Time for mo time is money. I don't have all day. Okay, you're you're an arse. All right, that's fair enough. We now know that you are an arse. So let's go in here. Oh, eight o'clock. Literally seconds away. To wait for this guy to turn up. Hello, Antoine. How are you? Don't spend the difficulty of work at business. I keep trying to reorder the hardest part you know, is I have to stand all day. Yeah, well, somebody ought to really get you a chair. If they get you a chair, then you'll be fine. Okay, so. I need to hand this in, don't I? Right. I have a journal or something. Missions. The builder test. Make a stone furnace. made that so right is a map button yes there is fantastic okay so it's over there Oh, right, he's having a cup. Sorry. I'm interrupting you, aren't I? Great job, you pass. This is your builder license, congratulations. I just need to take the license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered, after which you can start taking regular commissions. Come back and talk to me after you register. Thank you all. Uh, oh, I'm assuming that is the... Uh there's office. Porsche government. Yep. It's Mayor Gale. With a picture of himself as a far younger, thinner man. <laughs> with, and I know how that feels. We're <laughs> with the same clothes, strangely enough. Okay. Welcome, welcome. You must be Jay. I'm gay, or the male of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in, a te in the telesis of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Uh, 
Oh, what should I call it? The workshop. What should I call it? Hmm. Let's see. Um. How about? Green Co. Yeah, why not? Actually, no. Let's go for something a bit more foreboding. go. Now, what to do next? Very nice name. <laughs> Thank you. Your registration is complete. all sorted. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. The announce of the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me to being the only one there. Ha ha. I will cover town and world events at large to the usual, you know. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, surrounding area, is it? So, Bannerock, that's where I'm from. Over there. We're in Porsche here. Cool. Okay. Hello, Paulie. A manly furniture maker. <laughs> okay. Men should be as strong as me. Mars, oh come on, he's not even close. Okay. See about getting. Is he here yet? He is. You are now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the process of our trade. Here at Porsche Office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops if we week listed on, on the wall behind me. Now, are the workshops in Porter? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality of the commissions you can get. But don't worry if you haven't, your father's worth ethic will be number one. Don't, but don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with the orders, you can pick up the commission's fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild, but just build some items and sell directly to the market. That's very lucrative as well. Okay. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Swipe. Plain favourites, are we? Higgins, you you already took what? There are never too many commissions. Good day. That grunt. He's the owner of the current number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but don't know it. like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Prez, I got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young Jay, here's up for the challenge. I am? Yeah, he figured the place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Jay, check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in the... I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. 
Also, this, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in port, it's located at the bottom of the church tower. Okay. Uh, let's say hello to Arlo. And if you discover a new ruin, be sure to let us know the civil courts will compensate you, you well for your efforts. Okay. So we have 12 charcoal from the store. Sorry for the trouble. That is Emily. Okay. 250 gold. That points. Five roasted meats. Four pieces of glass. Okay. Do I take another one or do I work on the bridge? Twelve charcoal. Let's see if we can make twelve charcoal. I'm guessing that's going to involve wood and burning it in the stove, but I will find out. Everybody has these hats. Oh no, poorly, but Paulie doesn't, but Paulie's obviously too manly for simple things like something to cover your head. Okay, what am I doing now? Build the bridge. Oh, that's a skill point then. See what I need for charcoal. That sounds like it's going to be a better one. Weapons. Was that what that was? A trap box? What we saw earlier. Okay, so. Um, can we build? Stone furnace. Do you know what? I've not placed that, have I? I've still got it. Yes. Alright. Let's um... Oh, glass right at the top. Charcoal. Right. Three. Get a six. What did they say they wanted? Fifteen or something, or twelve. That's. I think it might be twelve, so. Craft. Fuel depleted. Okay. Seven hours. Uh, craft. Charcoal. Brilliant. Oh, hello you. Who's this? Uh, I'm Emily, next door neighbour. It's nice, so nice to people. new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. Okay. They say people make most progress in the spring. I've got to work hard and make my farm boom this year. Awesome. Oh, we have a chest. Boxing gloves. Awesome. Oh. Wow. Combatant, eh? That cost me any stamina points. No. Awesome. So. Yes, it was 12 charcoal. What's this about bridges? Is that assembly station? Yeah. 
wooden bridge head, wooden bridge body. Okay. Oh, cool. We can create an ape. Uh, let's have a look. Bridge can support people, but probably not vehicles. It's probably best not to try it. Okay. Cut with a civil cup. Hardwood. The bigger the tree, the harder it's wood. So, right, okay. Uh, a smoke copper bars. Okay, still not, not got any way of getting copper bars yet or anything like that. I think we're going to leave this for next time. So. It's only 1335. I'm not going him to sleep, but that is going to be the end of this session. Right. Well, thanks for watching and safe journeys, people. <laughs>